guys, look what we printed. It's a Christmas tree. And now, let me show you my Thor's hammer keychain. And you guys may not be able to see it, so I'll come to you. My Thor's hammer keychain. And today we're gonna see how we print both of these. So now we need to open Google and we need to go to XYZ printing. So let's open that up. XYZ, and here it is. After we open this, we need to go to software and we need to go to print and we need to go to XYZ Maker Suite. After we go here, we need to scroll down to the download section. We click on download and now I've already downloaded this, but whenever you want to download it, you just have to put an email and an account. And now that we downloaded it, we were able to find it right here. So we double click this and now it should be opening up. And now that we have opened this, we need to go to XYZ print. We click on open and this should be opening. <laughs> And now that it opened, but what should we print? I don't have anything in mind. Now then, with that, we can go to Thinkverse. Thinkverse. And now that we're at Thinkverse, we can see many different designs. First, we have Gengar, which is very nice. But let's see, I wanna do Thor. Thor's hammer. Mm. Now that we've opened the link, we found one of the coolest ones there is. This one. But I've already downloaded this. If you guys want to download this, you guys all all you guys need to do is make an account and you'll be able to download it. Now let's go back to the XYZ Maker Suite and let's print this. Since I'm now on XYZ printing, all we need to do is click on this icon. And since I've already downloaded it, but for some of you guys that have not, all you guys need to do is go to open. And you guys need to go here. And of course, all of the extensions for your files need to be a STL. And now then, let's open this. And if it ever tells you to auto repair, always say yes. And now before we start printing, let's see all about the software. So let's go to dashboard. And as you guys can see, there is setup, there is filament, and there is extruder. So much different things. If we click on setup, there will come up a Z offset, calibrate, jog mode, and many more things. And now if we see filament, we'll have three different things. We'll have load filament, unload filament, and info. And of course, load filament just means that this will be put into this. Unload, we'll remove it. And now let's check extruder. Extruder is all about the nozzle, right here. And the only thing it can do is really just clean it. And now let's go back to print. And then there are many different things here. Let's check out the print type. So in here we have our draft, we have our normal, we have our high tones, we have our hollow, and all of them have their own different things. For now, let's stick with normal. And now something really important I wanna show you guys, which is support. Whenever we go to supports, we have all of these things shown up. Now then let's click on enable supports and enable raft. And now there are many different things for this. You can put it as a raft, which will just be a, like a layer on the bottom and supports. If you ever need to make a building, you know how there are always supports in the middle to hold it through. That's exactly what it is. And now let's go back. And if we click on prepare, we could see it over here. And now, as you guys can see, there are the shells, the infill, and the supports. And now the shells is just really the whole product itself. The info is how it's going to be on the inside and the support is going to be kind of a little draft or a raft below it. And before we print, let's go back to dashboard. And now that we're here, let's go to setup and let's click on calibrate. And this should be done only one time or whenever you're moving the 3D printer from location to location. And now let's go to Z offset. And now that we go here to where it's not telling us that the nozzle is 2.38 millimeters away from the printing bed. And can you guys imagine that 2.38 is actually quite a lot. For this project, we found out that 1.86 millimeters is the best, but I don't recommend you to go all the way down because that may actually break your bed. So go step by step. And whenever you go step, print it, see if it works, see if it fails. If it fails, go one more step down. And now let's go one step down and let's see if it works or not. All we need to do is click on this. And now let's go back to prepare. So first we gotta click on accept. Then we go back here and now let's click on print. And now let's go to dashboard and let's see our progress. As you guys can see, it's now heating our extruder. Did you guys just see how it jumped from 20 to 207? And now it's 213. So this will keep jumping and jumping until it finds the right temperature and it will finally start printing. Mm -hmm. 
end as you guys can see it's now printing a raft but of course if you guys don't want it to print a raft all you guys do is just press this button for five seconds and it should cancel it and now let's cancel it as you guys can see it's stopping the whole print or not let's press for another actually wait, no it is stopping the whole print and now let's do it with the without the raft but of course we have to remove what we previously did so let's do that and now we have this so all we need to do is just scrape this off as you guys can see this is our honeycomb raft and now we're going to print it but without the raft and now let's make a new file but we're just going to leave it as it is so all we need to do is go to a new file new file and yes i want this to be reset now let's click on this thor's hammer and yes as always click on auto repair no matter what and now that's auto repairs let's check if there are any supports no i do not want any supports or raft on this but now let's go back and let's check the dashboard one more time so we can see our z offset and now it's ready so let's go back to setup and let's check the z offset now let's think about this hmm let's lower it one more time it's going to be lowering and it's going to check which is 2.33 so it may go down it may go up until it finds that perfect distance so let's just wait one minute or two and it should find the distance then we'll get to printing and now that's 2.28 let's click on accept and let's go back to print and now let's click on print <laughs> And now as you guys can see, it is no longer sticking, but no worries, all we need to do is just change the Z offset. But before that, we need to of course cancel this. Remember, we'll hold this down for 5 seconds. And as you guys can see, there is something currently stuck to here, which currently fell. But be careful whenever you grab this. It is right here. As you guys can see, this is a failed process of our Thor's hammer. Now, let's lower the Z offset one more time. And you guys can see that we tried this with the 2.28, but it failed miserably. But since we are professionals... No, I'm not. Let's try it with 1.86. So we're going to make a huge gap. And now let's see if it truly works or not. But for you guys, do not immediately skip from 2.38 or something like that to immediately 1.86. Try step by step. And now let's lower it. And now let's lower it one more time. But we just need it to be ready. Let's lower it again. And again. And again. And again, and now let's keep lowering it until it's 1.86. And of course, sometimes it won't be exactly what you want, but if it's at least close, it should work. Now then, let's try 1.88. And let's go back to print, and then let's click on print. <laughs> As you guys can see, 1.88 has printed absolutely perfectly. And of course, this printer is so amazing. It has auto calibration and it's super quick with printing and it's just amazing. And it can go up to 100 macrons per layer, which means incredible resolution. And the sound it produces is beautiful. I really enjoy it. And the most important part is that it has a stress-free maintenance. And the software is super friendly and it's super like supportive and you can easily click on things and it's super easy to use 
and from the previous video you guys can see that all you need to do is just plug it in and that's it and also guys don't ever forget to calibrate this printer and also clean the nozzle or the extruder and also to always check your Z offsets I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this will be our first 3d printer lesson smash that subscribe button destroy the like button and also press that notification bell so you never miss out on anything else bye bye I'll be seeing you guys with our next creation